You want to know how Sanchez does his blood splash effect? Well, don't worry, I got you. And as always, everything I use in this tutorial will be provided in the description. Please subscribe and leave a like so I can pay my dog's food. Thank you. So I already got my clip. What you're going to do now is go ahead and make a new solid. So adjust it to your composition. And then what you're going to do is just put the provided preset onto your solid and you immediately gonna see that you will have this splash over here and by the way you will need element 3d all right so now that we have that you're just gonna press u on your keyboard and open this up then you're gonna go scroll down and basically just get everything and adjust it to the length of your clip and now you're gonna go ahead and drop in the jpeg which is also provided in the description everything is in just one pack and you're gonna go ahead into the effects and control tab again on the solid layer where your element 3d is you're gonna open up element 3d custom layers custom texture maps and then you're just gonna go ahead and put uh, the first layer onto your JPEG. All right, now that you have that, you're going to go ahead into World Transformation. We're going to close this, open up World Transformation, uh, X and Y, and we're going to go ahead and put the Z also. And now you're just going to go ahead and drag that out. Let's say about 2000. This looks pretty good. And then you're going to go ahead to the end of the clip. And you're going to go into minus um, so that you don't see the blood splash anymore. And you're going to press U on your keyboards. You're going to adjust that. And then you're going to go ahead and put a flow graph on that as well. Or rather, you're going to go ahead and put such a graph like this. Oh, and don't forget the motion blur. This is pretty important. And now we have this. But we're not done yet. So now we're going to tweak the X and Y position. For that, you're going to go ahead into the minus. Um, let's say about minus 500. There we go. And you go to the end of the clip again and put it to around 100. Open up and use basically the same graph again. Put it to the end of the clip. And then you have something like this. And as I always say, you're going to have to tweak and adjust to, you know, to your clip, whatever fits you. And now I'm just going to finish the clip and you're going to see the final result.